Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruelty YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. And today I am doing a tag video. I've done this tag video two years ago, I think, and now it's time again. And this tag video is created by Samantha March. I will leave her down in the description and it's called Brands That Excite Me. So I'm going to talk about five brands that excite me and five brands that don't excite me. And when I did this two years ago, I have some of the same brands and I have some of the same feelings and I have some feelings that are not the same. And when I did this last, I didn't want to talk about super small in the brands, but I thought like I'm going to do that now because I want to talk about brands that excite me. And brands that don't. So this is a mix between bigger brands, smaller brands, brands that I've talked about two years ago. So I think we just hop into this. And I will do the same as I get there. And I will do the same in the same order that I did last. I will talk about the brands that don't excite me first. And I think I only have one brand that wasn't only one brand that I talked about the last time and I still feel the same, and that is Urban Decay. I can admit that Urban Decay is better now, or trying more now than they did two years ago, but they still... They still are not edgy and fun. Their latest collection was the one with Prince. I am not a Prince fan. Um, I didn't think the palette was that special. I know that they got a lot of criticism for it, for not like more being a cash grab than really like celebrate Prince in one way. And even though I am not a Prince fan, I can understand what people say. And I just wish that Urban Decay stopped doing their naked palettes. It's like enough. Stop releasing them or if you're going to do something more fun. Last it was the Wild West. Wild Wild West? Wild West palette. People seem though to like it but I'm like it's it's not fun. I haven't been interested in the Naked palette for four years, I think, maybe more. I just don't get it and I wish that Urban Decay would just get a hold of themselves. I think they do good base products, but with eyeshadows, I'm not excited anymore. When I scroll like through Instagram, it's like I'm missing that it's Urban Decay. So no. Urban Decay does not excite me. It didn't do it two years ago and it don't do it now. The next brand <laughs> is Melt. And sometimes Melt do excite me. Like when they do their holiday collections. Like I love the Beetlejuice collection. I love the Vida en Muerte. I never remember the name of the collection but Eternal something. Um, when they do their holiday collection, they really go like all in and do something fun and cool and unique. But when they're releasing palettes in between, it's either weed theme or it is a palette from one of their stacks. Like the latest palette, Mary Jane. Who need that many grey shades? And just... Stop it. Stop it. I know that some are really happy that they are releasing stacks as a palette and I can admit it's some stacks that I would want to have but they're no longer available and I wish that they come as palettes but at the same time they do such a big thing of it. It's like you have already done this once. It's not super big that you do it in a palette instead of your stack. And I am not excited about Melt, except for when they're doing their holiday releases. Because 
the rust palette I didn't want. The She's in Partis, Millennial Pinks, the 20 for 20 palette, yes, but then you never know with Melt. The formula can be shit. And the 420 palette, it was kind of shit. So that like, it doesn't excite me because the color stories aren't like that unique because they often do, or sometimes do their stack into palettes and or it's not a good quality so it doesn't excite me i think they can do cool stuff melt but it doesn't excite me because i don't want to buy a palette for like 50 dollars 58 dollars and shit i just do not so melt doesn't excite me that much the next brand is a brand that did excite me two years ago but now they don't and that is us place don't hate me but it's like, I, I haven't been interested in the palettes from US Play since I don't know when. I think I have two palettes from US Place that I haven't used yet and I have had them. Maybe a year now. But like, I don't know. The lipsticks, I'm not that interested in. The eyeshadow palettes, they start releasing smaller palettes. And it's nothing that I'm excited about anymore. I still love my UVS Place palette and I still think the formula is good. But I don't know. I don't know why, but I haven't been excited in UVS Place palette since the Nomad palette. I love the Nomad palette. But after that... No. Even though I start to like smaller eyeshadow palettes, it's something with the Eva's Place palette that doesn't make me that excited. And I'm not interested in their face products, like the concealer and foundation, because it's pretty high coverage and that's not my jazz. So Eva's Place does not excite me anymore. Even though they are coming up with new products that they haven't had before, it doesn't spark anything in me. I'm sorry, but it doesn't. The next one is Colourpop. And they are releasing so much stuff. So much stuff. The latest thing I bought from Colourpop, I think it was the Raw Beauty Christy palette. And that I was excited about. That came out in, was it November? October? November? That is the latest that I've been excited in something from Colourpop. They are just releasing palettes after palettes, collection after collection, and I can't keep up anymore. I don't even try to keep up anymore. I still love the colors, the colors, the palettes and the pens and the lipsticks that I have from Colourpop, but I'm not excited anymore. I just or past them. Now when I'm filming this, they just had their big sale with 30% off the whole site. I wasn't excited to buy anything. I think it's like a combination of the releasing palettes that I don't want and that they are releasing too much that they don't excite me anymore. Maybe they came up with an amazing collection in a couple of weeks. Probably I will miss it because they are releasing so much. So Colourpop doesn't excite me. I haven't done it for a long time. And then the last brand I want to talk about is... I don't even know what they are called. KVD. They haven't excited me for such a long time. And it feels like they are trying to rebrand after rebrand after rebrand. And now it feels like they have found like their Apple foundation that people seem to love and rave about and it feels like kvd is so far from where they once started to where they are now maybe in a good way because it's been problematic in the past but like color story wise and as like with urban decay they have lost their edge the grunchiness it doesn't excite me and to be honest 
they haven't excited me for I don't know how long really really long so if we go in to the five brands that excite me first off I have a brand that I haven't tried yet I really want to try them and it's an in brand from the UK and it is Lois makeup cosmetics Lois cosmetics I want to buy their underground palette it looks amazing and it seems like people love it and even though they haven't released that much like the aesthetic of the brand I'm so excited I want to see what they are releasing next and this I first I was like am I going to talk about this brand because I haven't tried it and they haven't that much products but I'm really looking forward to see what they are releasing first I want to buy I think it's called the underground palette I love if it doesn't <laughs> probably don't but it looks so cool and I really really want it and I'm like excited to see the next palette even though I haven't tested the first one. So that is a brand that excites me, that is super new to me. I'm going, they're going to restock it. It's have already been restocked when you see this. Hopefully I did get it. Never know. Hopefully. Then I think the other brands that I'm going to talk about, I think you are like going to be not surprised at all. First off, we can start with Kaleidos. I love Kaleidos. It's absolutely one of my absolute favorite brands. They do amazing eyeshadows, amazing liquid lipsticks. And I love when they are releasing something new. And I love that it's always like a big collection. And the newest collection, the Flower Punk collection, I did buy. I bought the eyeshadow palettes and the two lip kits. When I'm filming this, I haven't tried it yet. And I don't think you've seen that video yet. I'm going to record it next week. So we will see if which ones come up first. But I think I've been excited for all of Kaleido's releases all of them ever since I tested my first palette from them I have been excited for everything and I really love that they are not releasing only an eyeshadow palette it's something more so Kaleidos keep doing what you're doing I love it then I also wanted to talk about Lunar Beauty I have found Lunar Beauty First, I like I bought the Moon Spell palette first. Really like it, but I was like, yeah, it's good, it's cool. But then I think they have like found more their their way in makeup, their style. I have a cat here in my lip or in my nose. I don't know, maybe in my nose and in my lip. I think they found their aesthetics. I think they are doing cool palettes but they are not like too much now maybe the last release with the life to drag facelift wasn't that exciting but i think they will keep doing exciting things and i hope that they will release more blushes in the future more liquid lipsticks and i just think they have a really fun and good aesthetics of the brand. I think they are doing an amazing job and I think Manny is doing amazing and uh, I really love it. I love the Moonspan palette and the Eternal Eclipse palette. It's a really like dark and grungy palette but it's also you can use it if you just want normal makeup and I love that about palettes that it's versatile but I also love complete gun grunge but I love when you have the two worlds of it and I think they are doing like you can see on a palette if it is Luna Beauty and that I love and it excites me and I really hope that they will s release more and more and more the second to last brand is Lethal it's no secret that I love Lethal I think they have some of the best eyeshadows I've tried. I love that you can build your own palette, their website. I love that they have blushes, highlighter, and contour bronzers. 
their liquid lipsticks are good, the bullet lipsticks are good. And I think they have also really found like their own way. They are edgy, but uh, cute in one way. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm always excited when they are releasing new things. The latest they released were three new six pan palettes. I haven't bought any of them. I think I might buy one of them. And I just love their whole... For me, I am not or wasn't a single shadows girl. Um, I just thought it was... I didn't like it. I like when something is pre-made for me. Uh, but even though from Lethal, if you buy single shadows, it's still like you can do your own palette and you can see how it looks. And I really need that. And I think they are doing... A so wide variety of eyeshadows. They do like a neutral good looking brown and they do like a neon green and pink and purple. And it's really excite me whenever they're releasing something and I have loved Lethal I think in the end of 2019. Can it be that long? And I'm still as excited now as I was then. So Lethal is, they definitely excite me. And the last brand is a brand that I talked about two years ago. And I just wanted to take them because they still excite me. And that is Nobla. And it's no secret that either Nobla is one of my favorite brands. And I really love like the mix that they have now. They release some eyeshadow palettes, then they release some face products. And I think they are building their brand and doing it pretty wide and I just love like everything I have from Nabla. I think they are amazing on doing eyeshadows and highlighters and blushes and I have the skin realist on me today. Really like it, <laughs> like it. I love their liquid lipsticks. And I'm still excited when Nabla is releasing and it doesn't matter if it is an eyeshadow or a new base product. And it's not with many brands that I can say that. Eyeshadows are my thing and I'm most excited about new eyeshadow palettes. But Nabla is one brand that excites me even though I know it's going to be a base product. Because I know it's going to suit me because I have so many base products that I love from Nabla. So... They still excite me. I think they are such a good brand. They are vegan and it's just an amazing brand. And yeah, that was actually everything for this video. It felt like I'm talked forever, but I guess the video is going to be 15 minutes. But I think it was fun to look back and see what I have changed my mind about. And uh, yeah. I really hope you liked this video. Is there any brands that you are super excited about right now or some brands that you are like sick and tired of? Please let me know down in the comments and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!